Okay, now um, transverse wave travel along stretched string at speed 80 per meter per second and frequency 200 hertz. Standing waves produced on the string determine the distance between two adjacent nodes uh, and the distance between a node and an adjacent anti node. Good. So, uh, what information given here? So, you have the wave, okay, transverse wave travel along the stretch string at this speed. Uh, so, what is this speed? Is it the particle vibrational velocity or the wave speed? Uh, which one? Is it the, is it the wave speed? Uh, v equal to f lambda or particle vibrational velocity with, uh, with dy dt a omega cos omega t plus minus kx. So which one? Uh, of course, this is the wave speed, speed of the wave. Okay, this is the wave speed, uh, which is f lambda, v equal to f lambda. Now, also given the frequency, yeah, 200 hertz. Standing wave is produced. Uh, standing wave is produced on the string. You know why? You know why you, uh, you have a progressive wave, suddenly you have standing wave? Uh, it's, it's because this one is, uh, has a fixed end. Uh, what I can say is, okay, is a, here, here you have a string. Yeah, here you have a string. This is the wall. Yeah, uh, sorry. This is the, this is the wall, uh, fixed end. And then this is the string. Uh, so you um you oscillate yeah the you oscillate and then the wave travels yeah the wave travels uh, this is the wave one let's say it travel 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 uh, travel and then uh, it travel and then it reflect uh, you reflect you reflect and then it produce another wave uh, produce another wave uh, which is uh, the reflected wave understand or not uh, so they travel in opposite direction. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, wave moving to the right. Okay. This is the, for example, this wave moving to the right. Going to the right is uh, what you can say is um, um, wave moving to the right is negative kx. Uh, wave moving to the left. Wave moving to the left has formula what? Wave moving to the left has and, uh, formula positive kx uh, okay uh, this is a progressive wave wave moving to the right wave moving to the right uh, has a, a negative kx wave move to the left as a positive kx uh, so um, so they are opposite direction two identical wave uh, what I can say both waves are identical wave uh, both waves are identical waves uh, with same amplitude, same frequency, same wavelength, same uh, wave number, same omega, all same. Uh, all same, just opposite direction. Uh, just opposite direction. So that's why they have a positive and negative kx. Okay, uh, they are all identical waves. They are all identical waves, just, um, you know lah. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Uh, but, uh, okay, they are both all identical waves. I can say, all of them are, I, these two are identical waves, same, all same characteristics, just opposite direction. Uh, they just have, opposite direction positive and negative kx so these two they uh, overlap okay uh, they overlap uh, when they meet together they overlap uh, they overlap uh, or superimpose they produce standing wave on the string understand or not uh, okay so uh, then produce uh, nodes and anti nodes uh, okay so um, two adjacent nodes uh, okay, so remember the uh, about superposition of wave. Uh, this one, remember this? Uh, this one is the, this is like one wavelength. 
yeah one wavelength uh, one wavelength is between two consecutive nodes uh, between two consecutive nodes uh, this is one wavelength okay so this one he asked for distance between two adjacent nodes uh, let me copy this uh, to here uh, let me copy this to here oh my gosh it's too big uh make it smaller yeah that's 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 right okay that's right ah so now want to do these questions what is the distance between uh, two adjacent nodes question a uh, distance between two adjacent nodes uh, two adjacent nodes that means between what between uh, this and this uh, yeah two adjacent nodes uh, question uh, a so between two uh, two adjacent nodes it is half wavelength uh, half wavelength so that's the answer half wavelength uh, half wavelength yeah to a dis the distance is uh, just right distance is equal to half wavelength between two nodes okay so what is the wavelength what is the wavelength oh you uh, you need to find out uh, because he give you the wave speed only so wave speed is equal to uh, 80 meter per second so pay attention to all the units it's meter here not centimeter <laughs> it's meter here so be careful with all the units sometimes it's centimeter okay so wave speed is f lambda equal to 80 meter per second yeah 80 meter per second so uh, uh frequency is 200 hertz hertz is per second yeah uh, 200 wave uh, lambda 80 so what is your what is your wavelength uh, find out 80 divided by 200 you get uh, 0 0.4 meter uh, because it's just now speed is meter per second so this lambda you get 0 0.4 meter uh, so 0 0.4 meter wavelength uh, divided by 2 so distance between two nodes is 0 0.2 meter okay uh, so that's the answer is that correct yes it's correct 0 0.2 meter uh, okay distance between the two nodes is half wavelength now question b uh, look at question b question b okay question b so uh, distance between a node and adjacent anti-nodes uh, maybe uh, let's copy again this diagram okay um yeah clear off this one this one okay now uh what is the distance between uh what is the distance between a node and distance between a node and adjacent anti node oh between a node and adjacent anti node that means uh between the nodes and the adjacent anti node so what is the distance between node and anti node uh, one quarter wavelength Lam lambda over four lambda over four okay so the distance you write that uh, so the distance is equal to lambda over four uh, because it's a uh, distance between node and adjacent anti node node and anti node is lambda over four yeah uh, because uh, one wavelength one wavelength is two consecutive nodes uh, between two consecutive nodes uh, between here and here uh, this is considered one wavelength you see that you can see you can see can you see the one wavelength there let me draw it out uh, the one wavelength is this one this is one wavelength from here going to let me draw it out uh, let me draw it out with bigger like that so from here ah uh, this is considered one wavelength ah uh, understand uh, this is this one is one wavelength between two consecutive nodes uh, this is one wavelength uh, one wavelength uh, so between node and anti node between node and anti node is just one quarter of it 
one quarter of the whole wavelength, just one quarter, which is uh, lambda over 4. Uh -huh, okay, understand? So, your lambda is 0 0.4 meter just now, divided by 4. So, the distance between node and anti node is 0 0.1 meter. Uh, 0 0.1 meter, is that correct? Yes, it's correct. 0 0.1 meter, that's all. Okay? Uh, okay, just want to write it down here. Uh, from here up to uh, this one. Uh, this is one wavelength, understand? This is one wavelength. So between two nodes, be this uh, from here to here, this is one uh, one wavelength. So from node to node is just half wavelength. It's just half wavelength. Okay, half wavelength. Between node and anti node is just one quarter of the wavelength. Uh, one quarter of the wavelength. Uh, okay. Uh, be, uh, uh, okay. Uh, between distance between two nodes, you can write this as uh, D and N. Uh, D, uh, D N with N. Eh, D N with N. Uh, this one D N with A. Huh? Huh. Distance between two nodes, distance between node and anti node. Uh, okay, so that's all for this question. Okay, uh, bye.